Hmm, another Greenhorn apprentice come to take his first exam. Uh, I guess we're accepting any old rebel these days from the looks of you. Well, head over to the first test and we can begin. Hello everybody and welcome to Medivo Alpha. This is an alpha build playtest proof of concept tutorial type thing for some new gameplay mechanics involving the elements. I'm assuming those are the elements created by Ezekiel. So a very big thank you to Ezekiel. Uh, Ezekiel gave us the A Mappers workshop map with the teeny tiny testing and I'm guessing these trials that we have to undertake as apprentice involve the tried and true concept of cube goes upon button. Indeed, cube goes upon button. Ye olde aperture is the theme I'm getting so far. Uh, we've... Hello. Thing dropped and there's now, a floating sure ball. Hi. Ah, uh, yeah. There's no need for me to tell you that that orb will attune you to fire. Aha, uh -huh, so that is the orb of fire. Interesting. Do I pick up the orb of fire? I'm assuming since you're fire and we're dealing with elements, earth, wind and fire, right? So, fire enabled. Left click will perform an elemental jaunt between you and the fire cube. Okay. Elemental jaunt may be the best phrase I've heard in quite some time. What is an elemental jaunt? Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. No, that makes sense. We elementally jaunt between us and the position of the cube, correct? Yeah, okay. That is a fun mechanic. Um, I assume that will get very, very confusing. There's not going to be portals in this one, is there? Just elemental jaunting, which is a phrase I'm probably going to overuse. So that's a fire-linked cube then, I guess, and we can switch places with it at will. Is that a cube stepping stone kind of place? No, it's too high, which would mean an elemental jaunt, right? This is the tutorial, so we're being introduced to the idea of jaunting between places with cubes. Um, That's out of reach, and that is way too high. Uh, if you sit a bit closer, I need you to sort of elementally end up after our jaunt. What am I doing? It's not a stepping stone. Elementally end up after our jaunt in a place I can still reach you from, I guess? There you go, there, that. Is that still in range? That is in a grabbable range. Uh, so same here, which would make sense because that's way, way higher. So elemental jaunt upward and grab our cube again. That That is now entirely out of grabbing range. We don't even have our portal gun to do that whole physics pickup thing. Um, I guess I don't need our cube anymore. Okay, we'll continue down ye olde corridors. No elements enabled. Some of the previous apprentices had a rather difficult time of bringing themselves to a holy alignment. Uh, okay. Mind you, most of them had little trouble with bringing themselves to a demonic alignment. Well, to be fair, it'd be more fun, right? I blame it all on that newfangled music they listen to these days. Yeah, blame the kids. Um, let's pick up our fire orb. There was something on the screen there that was difficult to read and slightly cut off about attunement. And having to read and listen at once is not one of my strong suits. Uh, we've got a light bridge here in a suitably mystical themed fizziness. Uh, we can go across, that's not a light bridge. Okay, so you may be thematically correctly themed with ye olde mystical style, but um, you don't function how I figured you would. There is a cube, hold on, do I need to pick you up again? Let's grab you again, fire enabled. Uh, we've got ant lines over here leading to the room that contains Something to do with demons? I mean, that's typically what a pentagram means, right? And um, we can elementally jaunt over to you. Swaps places with you entirely. And this. So what is this? If that's demonic, this must be the not demonic stuff he was talking about. It makes a windy noise. So we got the power of wind now, somehow? Uh, you. You I do not trust either. But for the sake of science, no, you also don't function how I thought you would. It's not science, is it? We're doing magic. Get it right, Nerima. Uh, let's pick up our fire orb again. And the only thing we can do then is relocate to where the fire cube currently sits. There is a button here. It makes sense for you to relocate to my position on the button. Right, that opens up the room with the pentagram type symbol in. The pentagram? Someone will correct me, I'm sure. And... That one makes a suitably demonic burning type noise. Don't know what they do though. There's two of the ones that make the wind type noise. But these still don't like... work? No? Okay. 
Okay, you saved me there. Um, we've still got the power of swapping places with the cube, correct? Yeah, so we can keep that open. Uh, there appears to be another button all the way over there with another one of the the good guy symbol, the angel symbol. He did say something, but again, I was trying to read and listen at the same time. Um, so all I can literally do is swap places with you. Why would I want to swap places with you? And what do these actually do? So that activates a wind sound effect, which in my mind means I now have the power of elemental wind. But I don't seem to be able to, like, do anything else other than swap places with the fire cube. Okay, so... What actually does what then? That button over there will open up presumably our exit and we can continue with our trials. Also, it's very quiet in here, but again, this is an alpha build playtest. There'd be all sorts of uh, mystical, thematically appropriate music playing in the final build. Uh, which reminds me, this is made in 2015, and I can't find any more information about it. So Ezekiel, if you ever happen to watch this, dude, what happened? We want to know more. This is a very cool concept. Um, let's swap back to you. So I didn't need to get you in there. Offer the fire cube to the demons? To offer the fire cube to the demons, we need to actually be able to get in there, right? So... You come and elementally jaunt over here, and I elementally jaunt this side. Uh, we can make the fire noise happen, so... Offer fire cube to the demons. Offering fire cube to the demons has done... Nothing's any different. Well, the only other, like, demonic-looking thing is you. You don't work, though, right? You work now. Okay, so offering your fire cube activates, I'm guessing, the demonic mystical light bridge? Sure, makes sense. Uh, in that case, we want to bring that fire cube over to this button to open up our exit there, which traps me in here. So that's not much use. Uh, in that case, let's elementally jaunt back over then. So wait, does that mean I need an air cube? Or is it just me... Is it just me, like, touching? Is this attunement, right? When I get in here, I have attuned to... Again, he said something that I, I missed. So you probably don't actually work now, right? And I have trapped myself because I can't get back and I can only relocate with the cube. Although if I bring the cube here... The exit is now open. I can't get back out of here. So I can swap back to this side. I can't keep the exit open because our cube is locked in the little demonic possession room. And all I can do is activate wind and I can't use the wind from this side. Uh, so in that case, bring the cube to not on the button, still locked in here. I've activated that. So wait, if Demonic is now activated, I can walk back across you. And we could... What do I even need, then? Demonic is activated, but I still need to be able to get back out. So let's bring the thing over here to keep that door open by doing that one. Uh, don't activate you? No, do activate you. But I still need the cube over on that button. I can't go over to that button, but I could relocate to you. Demonic one is still working. So I can swap back to the position of you. Ah, uh, yeah, no, no, okay, that makes sense. Uh, we go over to the button then. Stand on you. No, wait, we're going to need the power of good guy wind bridges first. Stand on you. Relocate elemental jaunt this way. Now this should be a functioning bridge. Yeah, okay. That's going to get really, really confusing. They could also do with a bit more indication as to uh, which bridge is activated. They don't appear to change. No elements enabled. Yeah, the bridges don't change when you, like, activate them or not. You just have to sort of remember. Hello, we've been delivered a another fire cube straight onto a button. This, again, is like a playtest alpha build, so there's obviously things to refine with further playtesting. Again, I'd love to know if anything more came of this, because it is a very cool concept already. Uh, I see a fire orb up there, and I've only just noticed down in the bottom corner, it tells us what our power is. So I probably wasn't paying attention. It was like, you are possessed by demons. Use the demon bridge. That is something I really probably should have been paying attention to. Um, 
Can I get up there? No, so you do actually now need to be a regular boring weighted stepping stone style cube to get us up to our fire orb, which means I am entirely belittling your mystical powers by standing on your face. Can I grab that yet? No, one more. Like so. Oh, without sliding off. Like so. And then one more little step. No, you come here. Well, I suppose I could have... No, I can't elementally jaunt because I haven't picked up the orb of power yet, have I? Now I've got the orb of power and we can elementally jaunt at will. Right, cool. Um, In that case, there's another cube up there. Two cubes, two buttons is how this game usually goes, although this isn't technically this game anymore. It's very, very different. Uh, can I get you to sit up there? I can. Let's elementally jaunt up to you. You are... You have no powers? Are you just a regular cube? You're just a regular cube, right? You have no special abilities or anything. You can go sit on a button. Technically, quite a special ability. Not many cubes are capable of doing that, especially Bumble Balls, which aren't cubes. Ignore everything I say. Uh, right, carry down the next corridor. No elements enabled. Uh, we've got a new symbol. What are you? Ah, I see you've made this to the cage room. The cage room. I hope you don't have any trouble controlling two elements at once. Oh, I'm sure I will. Well, what are you then? Fire and Earth enabled. Right click cycles your elemental attunement between currently activated elemer, which I'm sure was meant to say elements. So right click. Ah, right click we have Fire and Earth. Right, so this just got a whole lot more confusing. Um, you're an Earth cube by the looks of it, as based on your symbolism, and you're a Fire cube. We've got a button here. This button does... what is that doing? opens up a gate in the middle of a walkway type thing here and our second button over here does not accept weight but has the earth symbol that's the earth symbol on it right same as you yeah okay that's the earth symbol in my mind that doesn't read as earth that's just kind of ye oldy cube looking to me um to get the cubes out right uh well if i go on you and i swap to earth and we elementally jaunt with the earth that doesn't help. That just locks me literally in the same place that the Earth Cube was. So let's elemental jaunt back out. So do it with fire. You don't do anything other than the middle gate. So can I put the fire cube on here? I'm assuming I can't put the fire cube on here, right? Gameplay mechanics would mean, no, it has to be the same symbol. Uh, so in that case, if we put the Earth Cube in here, and then I swap to... Who's in there now? The Earth Cube. I swap to the fire. Like so. And then I swap to the Earth Cube. Which gets it out here and opens that up. Yeah, okay. So that does that. Sure, that was a very elaborate way of unlocking a single cube. And we're going to need you out of there as well. To hold the middle one down. But then doing anything with the fire cube just keeps me locked in the fire cube's cage. So does leaving the fire cube in there for the moment, do you still act as a regular cube? I'm assuming you still just have like weight based properties, right? Yeah, okay, so you can be a regular cube, but you also have buttons that you have to go on. Uh, that lets us go through the palisade type thing. I'm guessing we need another cube there by the looks of it to open up our gate. There's a door I'm quickly going to try. It does nothing. And we've got a button over here, which unlocks the cage the fire cube is in. So it would not make sense to do that because... Oh no, it does make sense to do that because it's already open. Yeah, okay, no, it's, it's, so it's, it's cube swapping, but you have to be one of the positions that the cube is going to swap to, right? So in that case, what is up here? Can we use you? I assume so. We don't need that gate open anymore. Uh, let's stick you up there then. Elementally jaunt up to you. Hopefully that's in a place I can still grab. It is. And we've got a button. And conveniently, luckily, it was actually the cube we needed. Okay, you sit on there then. Yeah, so it's like cube swapping mechanics, but you're one of the cubes. So there's like a... Always going to be like a third step in the cube swap that you have to be one of the positions. Uh, oh, a new element. This is the element of... Pointed witch's hat or elaborate moustache. Made a splashing sound. I'm assuming that's the element of water. Uh, we've got four cubes by the looks of it. You were not the symbol I just picked up. Who was the symbol I just picked up? That's the earth cube. 
That is our regular fire cube. Well, our starter cube, if you will. And that, that is the pointed witch's hat moustache of water. So I have the power of water now. Cycle through fire, earth, air. Apparently I picked up air as well. Beautiful chandelier. Apparently I picked up air as well. So is air the really big squiggle? Again, that kind of doesn't say air to me symbolism wise, but uh, these are the sort of things you'd be taught in the intro to the game, right? Our master voiceover introductory guy would have introduced us to the symbols. Uh, we've got a gate over at the far end with four circles, reminiscent of the circles that contained the symbols at the very start of the map. So get the cubes off the button to unlock things. But I'm always going to be one place over your different colours. Our cubes go on their corresponding colour, right? So uh, these are actually different colours, aren't they? Fire kind of isn't the fire colour you'd expect it to be. So if you're water, you're water. You're definitely the water symbol, right? Yeah. Uh, that is, I'm guessing, the air symbol then? So if I swap places with air, that's probably a good thing. Your earth, let's swap places with earth. Your fire, let's swap places with fire. And your water, which is out there, gets me back out there, right? So, uh, water. Is that everything? That's everything. These symbols have lit up on the wall and the gate is open, yeah. Okay, that could get very confusing, especially if you've got to... Oh, they all went away. Magically. Especially if you've got to, like, constantly juggle between all of these elements at once. Yeah, I can handle about two at once. The final test of your exam. Your task is to put the Earth Cube upon the Earth button. Uh-huh. Is that it? My task is Earth Cube upon Earth Button. Something tells me it's about to be a lot more complicated than that. Uh, we have the power of fire. Let's grab our fire orb. Uh, do I have the ability to switch? No, we haven't accidentally picked up any other things. Um, I don't know how we picked up air again. I'm guessing that's a playtest kind of... Not bug, it's a playtest. You expect that sort of thing. Uh, there is our fire cube. We put the fire cube on the one button, especially since it has the fire symbol upon it. Ah, that does an airlock kind of thingy which I probably should have noticed because the antlines go to it. So in that case, then you can sit there. I did notice there's a demonic bridge over here. So we need a demonic bridge activating attunement thingy, which is you. There's also, again, what did he say it was? I'm going to go with good guy, windy angel bridge attunement thingy there. Uh, so you probably don't work at the moment because I haven't attuned anything, right? But for the sake of mystical science, no. Okay, yeah, okay, uh, so you cannot use, nothing's like pre-attuned, you have to activate them. Um, in that case then, let's do you, swap with you, presses the button, opens the other side of the airlock, and now we can actually attune ourselves to demonic possession. There's an earth symbol floating over there. So we've attuned ourselves to demonic possession, which means that bridge now works, right? So if we... Does it matter where the cube ends up? Got a feeling it does, but I'm not sure how to go any further at the moment. So let's just go with swapping to you. And you should now work, right? Yes, yeah, so you're a fully functioning bridge. Uh, that has left the fire cube over there, which means we could activate the good guy angel windy bridge, like so. Swap to you. Now this bridge should function again. They could really do with some sort of more uh, blatant this is now a safe passage kind of indicator and pick up our fire orb nope pick up our earth orb we now have the earth enabled and that is the earth cube which we can swap back and forth with at will we're gonna need the fire cube here uh, the fire cube is next to the good guy attunement so just get you back to the start then um well, since this option's here, I'm assuming we need you to come here next. So, switch to fire. Switch positions with fire. Keeps you open. Uh, I can't just go grab you, though, can I? Because that has been deactivated. Um, and I can't go that way either, because we've only got good guy windy attunement going on. Right. Yeah, this just got more complicated. Um... So in that case, I can't take you off of here because we need that to stay open. All I can do is switch back with Earth. Ah, so we can go that way then. Uh, make sure we're attuned to wind. 
switch to the earth cube will let us go all the way back this way you're on right you're, you're safe yes you are safe can't get out of here now but we can attune to demonic bridges swap to the demonic bridge you're not open anymore and you're not gonna do that are you no uh, so the only option that gives me then is we attune demonic bridges right so you're you're safe yes you're safe so you could come this way and I guess we manually take you over but we need to reattune to wind we can reattune to wind if we go back this side open this up by swapping places elementally jaunting with you that's not gonna work is it No, because that still only gives me the power of the demonic bridges. Uh, okay. Um, what if we get you to here by doing that? Right. Uh, we still have demonic bridges, so we could go this way safely, which gives us access to the good guy bridge, which I've touched preemptively, not quite yet wanting to touch you. Which means I can't go back there and I could have just gone there and warped the cube. No, warping the cube's no good. You can't just swap it because you always end up at the bad place. Um, So I can't go back that way now either, can I? Uh, what if we bring the earth cube here, which lets me reactivate demonic bridges, then swap back to where the earth cube is and we can go to this side um i need the fire cube over here now yeah we need the fire cube to open that up and then i could just go get you i feel like i'm missing a step let's uh bring the fire cube here locks me over here and uh which bridge have i got activated is it you please be active yeah okay that is uh doesn't help though because i can't go this way Kind of does, though, because we could swap places with the Earth Cube again. Gets me to this side. You're locking that, but we can swap you now uh, by going back to fire. Gets me back to here. Then I could bring the Earth Cube to the button. That doesn't work, because I'm going to still be locked wherever the Earth Cube is, right? So... Uh, where even is the Earth Cube? The Earth Cube's over there. I've still got demonic bridges. Hold on, let's bring the Earth Cube here a sec and check something. So bring the Earth Cube there. Our exit thing is now open. Can't go that way. But I have demonic bridges, so I could... Go over to that one. Yeah, okay, thankfully that works. Uh, swap the fire cube to here. Yeah, okay. That could very easily get incredibly complicated. That was a confusing enough multiple step cube swapping process as it was. Yeah, cube swapping with an extra step because you're, you're one of the cubes, right? So that could make like all the usual cube swapping mechanical puzzles way more complicated. Hi. You've completed your exam. Oh, cool. But don't spend too long celebrating. You're still a long way from being a master of the elements. This is very, very pretty. Um, I've passed the trials, apparently. Uh, demonic bridge. Demonic bridge activated. I guess the demonic bridge is still activated. Yeah, uh, windy bridge. Cool, yeah, so there's just like a little demonstration. And which one are you? None. Uh, is that like voids your powers, right? Does that turn off everything? Okay, so there's like an extra... Uh, floaty orb symbol type thing that will remove all your powers altogether. Uh, this is the same thing but opposite, right? So activate the windy bridge. Activate demonic bridge. Let's us get over to the middle bit here. If you wish, feel free to practice with the four element cubes. Once you're ready, ah. enter the vortex and you should be returned from whence you came. Ah, uh, whence elemental. Yeah, I could get into this game. Um, so four cubes. I'm guessing this is actually the end of the map. We have mystical, magical, 3D floating confetti and the ability to play with all the cubes. Does that, like, do anything different? 
Does taking them all off an activate the portal type thing ahead of us? All the symbols are still lit up. I'm guessing it's just uh, lets you play with the cubes. Yeah, um, this, this is a very, very interesting concept. I'm guessing this is actually the end of the map, right? Hold on, I do need to try just one thing. You sit there for me. Uh, squiggle is air, right? Let's swap to air. Yeah, especially if you could, like, mess around with concepts like that little silly gimmick as well. Uh, let's go into our mystical portal and find out if this is actually the end. I assume it's actually the end. Okay, um, yeah, I like that a lot. That was a very cool, very fun, solidly made proof of concept alpha build. Needs a little bit of refinement, of course, but that is what alpha builds are for. That was Medivo Alpha, another fun, unique concept created by Ezekiel. So a very big thank you to Ezekiel and a big thank you to Evelyn Carnate for the recommendation. And does anybody else find it suspicious that both science and elemental magic both share the same basic principle of cube goes on button? Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.